Well, it's, it is and it isn't. I would say it's really, um, it would have to do with uh, um, um, the qualities of, of the material I work with. So it would really be the energetic quality of painting balanced with uh, maybe matter and lightness. Um, I would say that. I could move on to something else. I, I have a few more roses. Yeah, I have a few more roses to do, and, and then I'd, I think I'd like to maybe explode them and, and maybe have them dissolve or maybe become maybe more uh, um, something that is more like part of the night sky canopy. I'm not sure, but... Uh, oh yeah. Oh yes. I well, the rose was a nice. But it was it just so happened that it was a, the perfect vehicle for me because I have a small rose garden next to my studio, and I thought that uh, um, and and by tending them, they're they're seasonal and they're they 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 require a certain amount of care. Um, this year was a good year just because of the weather, but but they're they're really they're demanding, and so I found myself really looking at them and what's going on with you, and uh, and so they became like pets in a way, and <laughs> that was the only way I could think of it, and and I and I became a little more sensitive to their you know their needs about water, about light, and uh, the the soil, and uh, and so I I guess that sort of seeped into my own work. Yes. Yeah, well, I care about them. I've become rather upset when they defoliate or something and, uh, at will. And, uh, but um, I probably, the, I, I can't imagine working with another one. This is the, this, but the, for me, this became really a vehicle to, to life itself, to, to, to um, maybe uh, um, even the cosmos. Um, you know, I only use a few tools, and, and I'm glad you noticed. I use a, a quarter-inch painting knife and then a half-inch spackle knife, but it's sort of like a painting knife. It's steel. And, uh, and I've used those so much that, that I sometimes feel that I've relied on them. I've overly relied on them, and so I've, I really do force myself to do other things. And, and so I, try, I, I threw paint on the canvas. I, painted on the back of plastic and smeared it on the canvas and my hands. And, uh, and, uh, and then on the new ones, I tried to work more with a brush, but I picked up, but the, uh, I pick, only worked with a couple of brushes too. I work with a broad brush and, and then one that's a little bit, that's almost ridiculously small for the scale. And that's so, I, I am very aware of the surface, and and I find things, and I and I paint vigorously in small strokes, but in some cases I use a I use a, a gentler brush too. So so the choice of instrument is very important too. It's it's but it's about my own personal experience. It's not really about oh it's partly about how it will look, but but it's about how I feel working with it. Well, that's because the, um, that, that's the result. You'll see some areas are raw here, but, but it's really just because of the um, application with the knife. And in some cases, this, this one is a little bit more transparent because there's, it's just the linear quality that becomes more solid. But in some cases where I was really searching and spending a lot of time, um, like, a couple of months, that didn't, these areas here became filled in and they became solids. And so, and that, and that presented some other challenges and it would require scraping once in a while and, and adding uh, um, washes and things, but, uh, um, but it's not a mesh, it's just the, the, the cumulative marks. That's why it took so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, they're not always peaceful pro things as they unfold. Uh, um, they, st they, they start out like this. They're sometimes pleasing and it feels nice and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're driving along on your trip and then you hit the tough part and that seems like it takes a while, but that's part of it too. This probably took me maybe, uh, maybe about three or four months 
and uh, I, I did work on, I tend to work on, um, because of my space, I, I usually work on about two at the same time, and I put one away, and, and uh, but uh, um, I, I probably, I worked on this, and then, and, and then it's just a consequence of working with, with something like this, but you tend to move towards an opposite afterwards. So, so I looked for an opposite experience, and, I, and then I worked on that very light pink one. And uh, I think this preceded this painting. You can see the palette's fairly similar. And, uh, but, but I tend to do that. I tend, if I do, I, I, I tend to want to work in opposites. And so these two paintings here followed each other as well. And then, and, and then, and then sometimes doing something very different from, from that experience. So, so yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> Yeah, um, um, it, it's, I think it's, it's a couple of things. Um, I do plan my, my, my work, so um, in this case, it was, if I really like something and, and I want to take it further, um, I, I'll, I'll stick with the same material. But I think, I think with the canvas was that uh, it came down, it, was, it really, I wanted to do a lighter painting, and so the fact that the support is canvas, it, give, it was a, a, a lighter surface to work on where the paint would, would not be so absorbed but reflect a little better. They're, they are all um, primed with, with either a PVA size or, or a gesso, so, so it, the integrity of the surface is, is very, prepared very well, but, but uh, I think it was mostly that. So to, to, to put a light color on the linen, it, it just the color is so absorbed. It's, it, but but it, you have a little more opportunity to um, have some reflection. So that's the, yes. Can you explain the titles? Yes, yeah. Um, the titles refer to the, to the um, paint itself. And so, um, and it's become a little bit lengthy. The, the, the list, I have to almost nickname some of the paintings to, to keep track of which ones we're talking about. But um, for instance, uh, NSIBTW44 would be this painting here, and that refers to Napthal Scarlet, um, Titanium White and Ivory Black. And so this would be the 44th um, painting with those colors. This one, over here is, uh, or, or over here, the, the, the white one, would be ZWTW number 20 something. And uh, I hadn't worked with, with titanium and zinc white for maybe five years, but I have to keep track of where I left off and uh, to be able to correctly uh, um, keep the, the numbering system or the title system working. But for me, it always, I'll, I'll always know um, what it was, and it seemed it seemed honest because the work is so much about material. It seemed it seemed a very honest way to to, to name them, a very practical one for myself, and and uh, the show title could carry the, the the subject idea, which was in this case the rose. So um, I, I I I think it's it's for me it's been a nice way to to present my work over the years. Thank you. Yes. On these paintings, um, I think the earliest, this is 2010, so this is really, this is the, this would be 2010, but before that I worked, uh, this body of work, it's about a decade. Um, but it's, but this is the more, re you're seeing the, the results of much more work that looked like this. This is where I've been for a number of years. For me to move to this was was a a big leap and uh, a very satisfying one. So. Yes. Yeah. Right. To date. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And 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 I'm so glad to have it in in this space. I can't. 
I, 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 I can't really uh, thank everyone enough. Um, um, Yolanda Trinser and, and Christine Berry, Martha Campbell of Berry Campbell Gallery, and my friends for coming. And, and, uh, but any, any more questions? I'm happy to answer and talk about it more. I'll point out there's this painting here is, is uh, it, it's a, a piece that I use to, I take it off the wall and, and I check my reds and, and these purples and things against it. It's not really purple. It's, I don't think you can really call a color something really because it, it changes um, in relative to what it's next to. Um, it, it, uh, but in any case, I use this as a measure and it pretty much includes the, uh, the entirety of everything in just this one painting. And there is the presence of white in it as well, but it's, it's just used more as a, as a grading tool. Um, how many of you are art students? Yeah, raise your hand. Yeah. What? Yeah. How, um, doesn't have to be major, taking art classes. Uh, what, how many people? Oh, that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. How many um, are, are you studying, how many are studying art history? Okay. Art history? And, and what about uh, um, painting? Painting? Printmaking? Drawing? Okay, painting still rules, good. <laughs> Sculpture? Okay. Yes. I think, um, well, this is, this is how I work. There, um, I, I want to do a very dark version of this painting here. I want to use all of the black that I have. And I have three different ones. I have a chromatic black that's mixed from, is, is formed by mixing all color together in, in five color printing, and CMYK printing. And then there's a, a Mars black. I have a lot of tubes of that, which is a reddish black. And then I still have more ivory black. And so um, I did, I, I like to put them together because you, the paint not only is different in color, but the material the, of, that, that comprises the paint is very different. For, for instance, in, the, uh, in um, titanium black, sorry, sorry ivory black, um, certain old school manufacturers, it was made from ground up burned bones. And, uh, and I've discovered that from ultimately reading the label, but it also was because I could smell it. It, it didn't seem like other paint. I, I, I could smell something very organic about it, and I looked into it, and it was, it was from you know, uh, burned bones. And, and so then I switched to a more, to um, a synthetic one that's by Gamblin, and, uh, and I began using probably the whole product line about at that, at that point. Um, but uh, as far as the, the next paintings, I, I'll, I'll do that, uh, one in black. There's a couple more I'd like to do of these 36 by 36s. And, uh, um, and I'd like to, to use the red a little bit more. But this is for myself, really filling in some of the, the holes. The, the, it, it's, like when, when, it's like when you study literature and, and, uh, and then you're out of school and then you spend the rest of your life reading everybody that you didn't read that you were, thought that you were kind of interested in. It's, it's a little bit like that. But as far as the, the more sustained paintings, um, I, I think I will probably, I'll work with the rose. Um, I think I'll deconstruct it further. I, I, I'd like to let it maybe dissolve and, and then maybe just ever so lightly bring it back. I've, I've been looking at some pictures of, of cosmic rows that, that astronomers look at. I don't want to copy their work, but I'd like to be able to maybe arrive at that thing as, uh, as, as occurs maybe like gases or something in, in, the, in, the, in the universe. I mean, to, to, to mix it somehow and, and, and have it come forth. And, and also be open to whatever else happens. There's some, there, there, I'm, I'm interested also in, in grading the color a little bit more, but in some you know, more personal ways. Uh, um, um, 
And that really has to do with just a feeling about the color and where it's going. I've ended up with, a, I've worked with a lot of pinks. Um, these, these seem more red in here, but, but it's interesting that, that uh, the, the uh, um, I don't work so much with design, but the, uh, the uh, great couture writer, Diana Vreeland, said that, that um, pink was the navy blue of India. And uh, I, I keep, I find that uh, I keep moving towards towards this this pink. It's a very satisfying, soothing color that might be between it. It, it for me, the 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 attraction is it's between something living and something and something more peaceful. And uh, and that's a, that's that's what I have on the horizon for painting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did find that I find a great deal of peace in in some of the darker ones, and uh, um, I think most of the universe is dark, and uh, and working with the red ones. Um, there's a lot of reflection that happens, and so, so sometimes it can be very stimula overstimulating. And uh, but, but in the, in the pink ones, it's just the right. It, there's a little bit of gray, there's a little bit of red, and a little bit of white, and it just, it holds you nicely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I got to tell you, the painting is the easy part. It's doing this part is the hard part. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.